Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. So, if this is where we end Hugh Jackman's run as Wolverine, and it had better be, then Logan, directed by James Mangold, is the best possible swan song to put that character to rest. Released with a hard R rating, you can thank the success of Deadpool for that, and you will. That finally lets Wolverine spread his wings, or claws, if you will, and becomes the version of the character that you always wanted to see. Logan is a gritty, violent, and ultimately very poignant epic drama for adults. I'll tell you, when people make the lists of the greatest superhero movies of all times, of which I promise I will make my own soon, they tend to include movies that feel the least comic booky, like Unbreakable or The Dark Knight or The Incredibles, movies that contain superheroes, yes, but that cast themselves in a different sort of mold. Logan is definitely in that company. Calling it a superhero movie is almost false advertising. Calling it instead a stirring drama or a bleak postmodern mythological western, perhaps, would be more accurate. The best thing I can say about Logan is, it's sort of like when a comic book does a limited series run. It tells a unique, standalone story, it isn't beholden to the movies and mythology that came before, and doesn't further the overall narrative of the series, it's its own self-contained story, just starring some characters that we already know. Sure, there are mutants and super-powered beings in it, but there are no major mutant villains in it, and the lack of outrageous costumes or dueling CGI superpower fights makes the previous X-Men films seem kinda cartoonish by comparison. This isn't a movie about powers, after all. It's a movie about relationships between characters. And any discussion of the characters in this movie must begin with Logan himself, who is old, grizzled, beaten down by life, and kinda suicidal. Ever the loner, he's seen tragedy and loss, and he's lost all enthusiasm for doing anything other than merely surviving. And due to his deteriorating powers and general depression, even that may not last. This is simply the best that Hugh Jackman has ever been as Wolverine. He runs quite an emotional gamut in this film, and he's captivating. Also, the R rating allows the character of Logan to be something that he frequently was in the comics, but was never really quite able to be on the screen. A stone-cold killer. A rage monster, capable of laying waste to entire armies. Now, it's, it's kind of funny for all of the hand-wringing of the Batman and Superman and even the Captain America movies about killing people lately, Wolverine absolutely wrecks fools in this movie. Straight up grisly splattery murder. Annihilation! This Wolverine is not healing as fast as he used to, and he needs things like reading glasses now, but when motivated by pure rage or instinct, he can still be a blunt killing machine. A reluctant hero in every sense of the word, he just throws himself into a meat grinder for the sake of what's right, like a superpowered John McClane. And the result is a level of carnage that is, mwah, it's just magnificent. But, but what's even more magnificent than the action, which is inventive, well shot, and easy to follow, are the relationships between the characters. A great movie puts its characters through the ringer. And there is some absolute suffering and struggle for all involved in Logan. In addition to Patrick Stewart bringing a gloriously complicated shade to Charles Xavier, who is battling seizures, a fact which, to paraphrase one character, has the consequence of giving a brain disorder to the world's most dangerous brain. Yeesh. We also get a daffy mutant character named Caliban, played by Stephen Merchant, an underwritten but very charismatic and engaging villain, and a very awesome young girl character who kicks a fair amount of booty herself, and whose presence has some unforeseen implications for our hero. And speaking of that hero, Logan, who has always been abrasive and standoffish, but you always knew he had a deeper nobility to him, well, he's the main focus here. His journey to protect and then to guide this young new mutant, becoming a father figure to her, while teaching her morality in such a violent set of circumstances, I have to say, the entire journey is far more moving than I anticipated. Logan tells a poignant and human story, creates indelible cinematic images, and kicks a whole lot of ass, elevating Jackman's character to near mythical levels as it concludes his story beautifully. Now, I have one complaint, and it's a big one. Simply put, this movie is just too long, at nearly two and a half hours. Every movement of the story works, every new situation and beat of the plot hits the right notes and mines the story for the appropriate level of drama and pathos. I just wish it didn't linger as long on the way there. Meandering, for a road movie, is to be expected, and the story does take us to some refreshing and interesting places. I just found myself looking at my watch a lot, okay? This, I'll tell you, know, you know what? You know what? This, 
I'll tell you what this is. This is sort of like one of those extended editions that you buy of a great movie on DVD, like a year or two after it's come out. You know, like they did for Lord of the Rings. They're great movies on their own, and then they come out with an edition that's about an hour and a half longer, and there's expanded or added scenes that add further dimension and weight to the story. Then you get to watch it at your own pace over two or three nights or something. That's what this is like. If there were an hour and 45 minute version of this movie, it would be wow, perfect. Not any scenes or plots actually cut, but just a little trim here and there, just to sort of tighten things up a little bit. As it is, this version of Logan is all great stuff, just a little too much of it. So I think that this is an appropriate graphic. The extra large bag of popcorn. Just, just look at it for a second. Overflowing with goodness. Kernels flying everywhere. When everything in this movie is perfect, there's just a little bit too much of it. Well, then that's what you get. An extra large bag of popcorn. Logan, much like its titular character, is a muscular, relentless beast of a movie. That could use a little, uh, tightening around the middle. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter at Movies That Pop. And click the icon right down there to visit our channel if you'd like to see more. And support us by clicking subscribe while you're there. And by clicking the thumbs up icon below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on Logan in the comments as well. Let me know. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel. And it's time to get Berserker, baby!